What's going on? This is Alex with Metasophocles Gaming bringing another mystery box. Um, very cool product that randomly showed up at Target and definitely been having a good time with these. Uh, fun to open. There's been some consistency I've noticed in the last couple that I've had that it's been uh, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms collector packs. I kind of feel like they these are like a lot of overstock packs that they have that they're just trying to get rid of is, is the way it seems to me but who knows either way I'm enjoying it I don't care how it came about I'm just having a good time with these so with that being said let's go ahead let's get into opening this all right so let's crack into these and see if we can have some good luck with today's packs. So for the die, we are going to get uh, just a regular 20-sided die. Still spin down, but no set symbol, no nothing on there. So that's pretty cool. I don't mind that. Uh, the same two cards we have been getting, so that must be all that's in these. Uh, we are going to get a Wilds of Eldraine Draft Booster. Followed by a Wilds of Eldrain Draft Booster. Followed by, I'm going to guess, a Wilds of Eldrain Draft Booster. And then Adventures in the Forgotten Realms and Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. So that's been fairly consistent across the last few that I've opened, is the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Not complaining, just an observation. So let's start off with the Wilds of Eldrain, see if we can get anything cool out of here. Uh, those enchanting tails cards are always really fun. I like the way they look, and there's some definite uh, good hits you can get from there. So, Restless Fortress, not a fan. Garrick's Uprising, cool looking. Uh, definitely have pulled a handful of those at this point, but they're useful. So, I like the way that one looks too. Like I said, I, I do really like the enchanting tails. Uh, style. Uh, we get a Charming Scoundrel and a Compulsion. And nice full art planes. And the last draft booster we have here. Ooh, as foretold in the anime art, that's pretty cool. Virtue of Knowledge, definitely awesome. So this was probably the best pack out of the three. Um, super cool to get, as foretold, I like the anime arts on these things. Um, Virtue of Knowledge is always a good one as well. Very useful card. Uh, we get a Sphere of Annihilation, Bag of Tricks, Instrument of the Bards, Neverwinter Dryad, a Bale for Baleful Beholder, a Treasure Vault, and a Dragon Turtle. And moving on to the final pack. We get Orcus, Prince of Undeath, Ride the Avalanche. Long Rest, Direwolf Prowler, Baleful Beholder, Zalto Fire Giant Duke, and another Dragon Turtle. Same foil showcase. So pretty cool. Um, definitely don't think we got as many good cards out of the last handful of the uh, packs we had for these, but some cool ones in here nonetheless. Uh, Treasure Vault is pretty cool. I, again, I really like that. Um, I don't know, is that the showcase? Is that, it's called something different? I thought this was the showcase, but Dragon Turtle looks cool. Overall, some pretty cool cards. As foretold, it's probably my favorite thing I pulled from here. Not super valuable, I don't think, but it's got that nice anime art on it, so definitely not complaining. But with that being said, we're going to wrap this up. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video.